what's up what's up what's up you already know this this speech come on this this speech one more time this this speech you got it and today we are going to be making steak black beans and yellow rice for dinner let's get into it all right peach patch tonight our ingredients are shrimp because we're gonna put shrimp inside of our yellow rice because mm -hmm. choice was asking for chinese rice and i don't know how to make chinese rice but i do know how to add some shrimp to some yellow rice so that's what we're gonna do and then i got chicken steak chicken steak is just a small steak all right guys so i'm also gonna be using chicken steak now chicken steak is a real small steak y'all see when i take it out and rinse it off and stuff but this steak used to be a dollar a piece but my meat still went up since everybody go there now since i've been promoting for them uh, um so it's a little bit more pricey now 6.99 a pound i missed when it was just a dollar a piece because i used to get a lot um then we have our yellow rice which i already showed you because i'm at shrimp to the yellow rice mm -hmm. and then i have two cans of goya black beans mm -hmm. uh for Fre frijoles negros i think i said it right in spanish mm -hmm. she bilingual okay and for the seasonings we're gonna be using some great value black pepper i don't care what kind of black pepper it is but i like ground black pepper we got our wishbone zesty italian season i mean dressing i like um craft but i had wishbone i ain't had no more craft um so wishbone it is all right we got some onion powder because i ain't got no real onion i forgot we got garlic salt we're just gonna put a little bit of that because daddy like the smell lari season salt and last but not least baria complete y'all already know your meal ain't complete come on if you don't use complete one more time your meal ain't complete if you don't use complete, you know, I gotta use that joint. And I got my we go for the Zazon. The Goya Zazon. I don't care what kind of Zazon it is. Like, I use Goya or um, Badia, which I just found out they had a Zazon. Thanks to my mama. But this is my favorite. They say I say it wrong, but I'm gonna keep saying it that way. It's Zazon, okay? That's I what I did. First thing I'm gonna do is rinse off my steak. Now, y'all know usually I don't rinse off my steak, but once I talk to my mama, <laughs> the last time I was in the kitchen with her cooking, and she was like, you better rinse that steak at least with some water, because you supposed to rinse steak. I'm like, but you don't rinse ground beef. You don't rinse ground beef. She's like, because you can't, okay? But you better rinse off your steak. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to rinse this all on off. And we don't worry about touching meat with our hand in my kitchen. I do not use gloves there because I clean with bleach, and everybody in my family cook without gloves. That's just how I was raised, baby. Don't judge me. Judge your man. Now, I'm gonna be putting my food in this silver pan because I don't feel like washing dishes. You know, my life is really, really busy lately. I try not to wash dishes as much as possible. So when I went to meet stuff, I got this big old nice quality aluminum pan. It was only a dollar seventy three. I could have got it better, um, cheaper price at the Dollar Tree, but this pan is actually cheaper than the Dollar Tree pan. So I feel like it was a good buy. It was a good buy. They didn't get over on me. Now my meat is all washed off, y'all. It's washed to my liking i just washed it with water some people do vinegar and lemon juice some people just do straight vinegar some people don't wash it's your kitchen do what you want to do on yours this is what i'm gonna do in mine normally i don't rinse off my steak because i learned how to make steak on youtube and the man that was you know seasoning steak he said you don't rinse it off because you be taking off the flavor so i never did but like i said my mama told me that i gotta start rinsing off my steak so listen to your mother sometimes sometimes they get good advice so we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off um for the, that reason okay because you know i don't want to be hard here anywho i'm not worrying about my meat being wet or anything like that what i'm doing is just spacing it out because i'm about to start seasoning this joint on now season the meat and we'll put it on you next all right baby don't do that <laughs> See, listen, I'm trying not to bother nobody. I got my stuff on my tripod, right? Shout out to the Bible Stella Howes in Montgomery, Alabama. But the baby, baby is trying to knock my tripod off. He is in the kitchen baby, trying to uh, it So the first thing I'm going to do is add my complete. Y'all already know. We season to the I see. Stop. Stop, baby. Oh, my goodness. So you just going to do it, right? You ain't going to use no measure cut. You just going to do it like this. And to the ancestors say, that's enough. That's it. You're feeling in your spirit. Now, y'all know some of y'all ancestors cannot cook. With that being said, please pay attention, okay? Try to guesstimate how much I'm putting, okay? Pay attention, sis. 
sister girl. And I'm not worrying about getting the seasoning in the pan or putting too much in one spot. Because we're going to mix this thing on noob. We're not going to worry about that. So that's our seasoned salt. With the garlic salt, we're going to only put a little bit. Let me see, baby. With the garlic salt, we only going to put a little bit because we're mostly doing the garlic salt for daddy. Because daddy loves to smell. If you never smell this, baby, smell it. It's a good time. So just a little tiny bit. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. All right. So boom. That's done. Next, we're going to add a little pinch of onion powder. What onion powder? Mm. Well, some simple, you throw an onion powder. It's some onion powder. Not too much, not too crazy. Garlic salt and onion powder be very, very light handy with that, okay? It's hairy. Pepper. I got this for you. Not too much. Now that look like a whole lot of seasoning. I know you probably at home like, girl, girl, sister girl, that is too much, but it's not, I promise. Lastly, we're going to do some zazzle. Uh, I might only put one zazzle on Oh, next time I should do country fried steak. Mm hmm Smell than us on gravy. Oh, my God. We adding our Zazon. Okay, we're going to do two packs. We're going to do the second pack after we mix it up. All right? So, that's what that's looking like. Let's go ahead and get our mix on. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to mix this on the look. But first, we're going to add our zesty Italian. Why well, I'm going to add the zesty Italian? Because the answer she just told me to. They was like, girl, don't mix it up. Without adding your zesty Italian. Girl, you don't even got on clothes to my head, guys. Look on a dress or something. Yes. Yes, a dress. So you can look good on the camera. Yes, I have on a dress today, ma'am. Alright, so this is our zesty Italian. You can use any one you like. I like um this one. Alright. I'm gonna lie. Because that's what my ancestors told me to do. You listen to yours, I'm gonna listen to mine, okay? And it's not gonna be too salty. So anybody like that's gonna be so salty. No, it's not. For sure. It's gonna be delicious. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix this thing on up. If you're not putting Italian dressing on your steak, baby, when I tell you, you is missing out. It don't matter if you sauteing it, frying it, baking it. Put you some zesty Italian dressing of your choice. Now, like I say, I personally like crafts but baby this wishbone is smelling like a good time i think i probably bought the wishbone out of the dollar tree and that's why i'm using it i think that's how i got a bunch of wishbones because i had like five of them in the pantry and i'm like i got five wishbones in the pantry don't that look good though don't that look like a good time put some more sauce on that one look at that that look delicious right wait till it's done sister girl Ooh. If you could just smell the aroma, because you could already smell. Smell these flavors, baby. Get into it, baby. Mm-hmm. Do you smell that? Daddy, do you smell that? You want to eat my steak? Daddy like his steak well done. But this is an easy meal. I didn't feel like cooking. Tonight, like, I don't want to have to clean up a lot of dishes. I want a home-cooked meal, but I don't want to clean up a lot. Sometimes I hate that when you got so many dishes to wash. So, that's why I'm baking, because I don't feel like standing over no oven. And I'm, um, I'm rinsing my hand off right now. And I'm going to, um, what is it called? Cooking this aluminum pan, just because you ain't got to clean up as much. And it's all done. I'm only going to have two dishes to wash and like five spoons. Good look at this. I'm just going to add some more Zazon. Look at this, God. I like Zazon because God. it gives it a little flavor. And I just like that out. orange color. Gorgeous. You being very rude. Gorgeous going to be on camera so bad, baby. And now the top, this is what I'm going to do is put some green peppers. I would have put onions in peppers, but I ain't got no onions. That's why I put the onion powder. If you got onions, don't put onion powder. Just put you some real onions and some green peppers. All right, Peach Patch. Baby is still trying to knock down my tripod, child. This time he ended up falling. That's why he whining. What I'm doing now, I just finished. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Let me stop. Let me cook. All right, Peach Patch. No, 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 gorgeous. Gorgeous, don't do that, please. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is just chop up this green pepper to my liking. Gorgeous is 
crying because she wants to show y'all her flashlight, but she still hasn't put on any clothes. And, and I'm gonna keep these and put them on top of my on top of my stuff. I like the way it moves. But she's whining because she wants to show y'all her flashlight, but she still ain't put on no clothes. Look, mommy, huh, mommy? Yeah, go watch Lily at the zoo. I'm naked. You better go put on some clothes. And, um, yeah, so she can't do that. But like I said, my children always want to bother me. They dad could be in the picture, you know, right in their presence, willing to get them and everything. They still just want to bother me. I'm sure my mother's out there understand. After we put this in the oven, I'm leaving to go to the dollar store. Cause there's some things I love the Dollar Tree. I'm a big Dollar Tree fan. Like, people like, girl, you is not saving no money. You need to go to X, Y, Z for this. Come on, baby. Yeah, go base, baby. Mm -hmm. Look at that got it, got it, babe. Yep, amazing life got a base. See, amazing I came back, y'all. He's moving the camera. For those of you who are new watching me, yes, go base. I have five children. Their ages are twelve. Um, what are, what are their ages? Oh my goodness. 12, 8, 5, 3, and 1. And they all attach to their mother very much. Even though their mama don't want them to be like, go on, this baby really right here. Crying at my leg. He's crying at my leg. I can hear your heart. Crying my My kids actually eat peppers and onions. And if you like, girl, how is you cutting this? However, I feel like it because it's my house, it's my kitchen, it's my food. And I want you to do the same when you at home, do what you want to do. I moved out my mama's house so I could do whatever I wanted to do, baby. Not what other people want me to do. If I wanted to do what other people wanted me to do, I would have stayed at my mama's house. All right, y'all, I picked them up. I was done with the knife. I really wasn't done because I was going to um, cut this bottom piece of this bell pepper, this piece right here. Um, but, baby just want his mama. They always want their mama. Always. Somebody always want their mama. I'm sure the moms can relate. And if my kids getting on your nerves, a baby, turn the page. Because this they have peach patch. This is what my steak is looking like. Now, the only thing left to do is add some butter. I'm gonna just take this one fork, which would be like a spoonful of butter, and just sit it in the middle. That's gonna keep it from drying out and burning and all that. It's gonna stay juicy. And this chicken steak is gonna cook real, real fast. Like, this is gonna be like a 30 minute meal. It's even that. It's probably gonna bake like 17 minutes. Real, real quick, real, real simple easy all right so now what we're gonna do is take our foil we're gonna need two pieces about this long right baby coming back y'all he's about to come back and mess with the shop pot again he is a determined young fella so this is how the first piece of the foil looks now we're gonna take the second piece because we want it to be nice and tight we're just gonna bake this you want it to be nice and tight you don't want no air getting into it because you don't want to have to worry about it you want your meat to come out just tender and juicy, and you want it to be an easy night for you. Anytime I really don't feel like cooking, I turn to baking stuff. Like, baking food is so easy. If I really know I don't want to do nothing that day, I could season something that morning and then just come home and put it in the oven to bake. Baked food is easy, and then sides are always easy, right? Don't take nothing but about 15 minutes. Um, black beans ain't number five minutes when you use the canned black beans. So now it is wrapped in foil and ready to go in the oven. All right, Peach Patch, I have my um chicken steak in the oven. Now, what I'm gonna do is take the shrimp and peel the tails off like so and just dump them in a bowl. Let me get a bag. I always forget to grab a bag before I record. A bag to put my tails in. And I'm trying to look on the, um, for my shrimp. I'm putting shrimp in the rice for choice. You think I should boil the shrimp with the rice? Or you think I should cook it separate and add them? What you think, Daddy? Can y'all see? I'm on my tripod. I like this tripod. It's so nice. 
Shout out again to Spouses Selling Houses. They bought me two tripods. So I have one in my vehicle and then I have one in the house. But I stay forgetting to pull it out. And this thing can point downwards like this. It can point upwards like that. It can go around 360. Like when I tell y'all, I wouldn't be much. I still be something, but I wouldn't be much if it was not for the peach patch. Y'all be showing out for your girl. Y'all show out bad for your girl, and I appreciate you. And I only took out one bag of shrimp because it's going in rice, and we got steak. Like, it's not a main deal. It's just like, oh my kids, wow, it's really gorgeous. Baby lock gorgeous out the bedroom. Like, he ain't lock her out. He shut the door. They playing. Now he crying because he don't know how to open the door. Now daddy going to rescue him. So, yeah, this is my real life. I would love to have one of those quiet settings. I remember when I first started this channel, I used to be super frustrated because my house wasn't quiet. And thankfully, the peach patch was like, no, I love hearing the sound of your kids. Like, your house sound like my house, etc. Y'all have been so welcoming and warm to me. So, I truly appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Y'all have been changing me and my kids' lives. I've been putting in the work. But I wouldn't be much without y'all. Without y'all looking at my videos, liking my videos, commenting on my videos, subscribing to my channel. This is my thing, too. This is so funny what be tickling me. What tickling me is when people say they're going to unsubscribe to me, but they're going to still watch my videos. I'm like, listen, subscribers matter, but it's not that big of a deal. Like, watching my videos helped me more than you being subscribed, not watching them. So, yeah. The shrimp are all peeled. We're going to rinse them off one more time. And I think I'm going to just boil them with the rice. I was asking daddy his opinion, and he ain't got one about it. He just like, do you, you know, do you, boo? You in the kitchen, I'm over here enjoying my game. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take these shrimp with this rice, and we're going to boil it together. And it's going to be love in the club. Corner me up in this club. Peach patch. Another peach got me this new pan, pot, whatever you want to call it, as a gift. Thank you so much once again. I thanked you on live when I opened this, but I want to thank you again. I'm in love with this. I already cooked in it already. I'm in love with it. It's so big. It's just what I need. I made crabs in here the other night. So we're just going to pour some water. I normally don't use no saucepan, but that was three cups of water. I mean, a measuring cup. That was three cups of water just because I want to see how much water it could hold. But we're going to do five cups. We do five cups of water for the rice. Normally when I cook rice, what I do is I just know um half water, half rice. Okay? So like you're gonna put five, five cups of water, I will put two and a half cups of rice basically. Or three cups of rice and that's it. Like it's gonna rice is gonna boil and mix with the water. You ain't gotta you know, you ain't gotta do too much. That's my best way to explain it. All right, let's put the tip for those of you out there trying to make rice. You want to make sure you don't add your rice until your water is boiling. So I just put this on the stove. I am not going to add any rice to it until the water starts to bubble and boil. Okay, All right, peach patch. Now we're going to do our black beans. So what I'm going to do first is add a little bit of olive oil. Oh, that was too much, baby. I ain't need that much. Don't add that much. Add a little bit. That was a lot of bit. But it's okay. We're going to keep it like that. Next, I'm going to add us some minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic if you like, or you can use no garlic. It's your kitchen. Do what you want to do. All right, after that, we're going to let that warm up a little bit. Let me stir it around. Let me give it a little stir. Baby, my house is going to smell like heaven. It's something about some garlic and some olive oil, baby. That I love. I lied. That wasn't olive oil. That was avocado oil. I use avocado oil, y'all. This is the kind of oil I use. Avocado oil. Mm -hmm. That's what I use. Always. Always. So, we're going to let that do what it does. You know, get that aroma going and smelling all like some special. I'm going to start buying fresh garlic because I want to be fancy. I bought some green onion, y'all, because I want to be fancy. Baby, if you could smell my house, if you could smell it right now, you'd be like, oh, my God, people don't get away. And it's just garlic. It's just garlic. Next, we're going to just dump these black beans in. 
This is how I like to cook my black beans. You can put on, that's the butterfly shirt. That's yours. Um, that's one can. Now we're on can number two. Two. You can season these however you like. You can add, not add seasoning. You can only add salt and pepper. Maybe the top fell in. Let's check that out. You can just do salt and pepper. You can do whatever you want. I'm. I do garlic. A little bit of complete and some pepper. That's it. A little stir, stir, stir. Stir, 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 garlic, black beans. Mm -hmm. I sure did. Girl, that was too much garlic, girl. No way. It, it was just the way I like it. It was just the way I like it. All right, give me a second. I'm going to help you get your panties and your shirt. Even though your dad is sitting on the couch and you can bother him and stitch patch. We're going to add in this green onion that I just cut up because, you know, your girl's a YouTuber now. <laughs> you got to be a little bougie sometimes. Got to be a little bougie. Daddy might be like, what is that? I don't know, it's green onion. It's All right, peach patch, that water is boiling. What we're going to do is we're going to take us some butter, baby. And we're just going to dump that right on. Yeah. Old habits are hard. Yes, I use the fork to add my butter. Just get them right there. What are we going to do next is add our rice. There we go. All right, I did not use no measuring cup. I figured that that was half. Let's get at a little stir, stir, stir. Little stir, little stir. And this came from a peach patch, too. You're like, girl, I like them wood and silicone. Yeah, a peach patch hooked me over that. A peach from the peach patch. She looked nice. Right. Well, now we just going to dump these shrimp. We're going to let the shrimp cook with the rice. If you want to do that, oh, well, this is my house. <laughs> That's the way we're going right now. This is just my house. Okay, we're going to do what I want to do over here. Okay? And now we're going to just put on our lid and just let that thing cool. Mm -hmm. i show y'all how you all. It's smelling like a good time hold on let's do that over girl because that voice was a little raspy hold on uh good time was that better y'all now we're just gonna pop a lid which i just rinsed off onto this and just let it do its thing yep and when it comes to the black beans ooh, when it comes to the black beans ooh, when it comes to the black beans we're gonna turn them down 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 we gonna turn them on low, 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 low. Cause I'm finna go to the stove, 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 stove. We gonna help that daddy don't burn the food, okay? Pray for it. Pray for me and pray for the food. Let's hope daddy. All right, don't peach patch. So I just checked my rice and turned it off. I just wanna show y'all. This is what it looks like. This is my yellow rice with shrimp and those shrimp are like nice and done. Mm -hmm. They all plump and juicy. I can't wait to eat that. It's gonna be a good time. Right, peach patch. I let my steak. Right, peach patch. I let my steak get a little brown on top because that's the way I like it when I bake it in the oven. But this is the <laughs> aftermath. We're gonna go ahead and start making it first. So first, we're gonna start off with the shrimp and rice. I stole the shrimp already. I was bust. It's daddy plate. Mm-hmm. Baby, you want your black beans on top or on the side? Daddy said put his black beans on top. So that is his shrimp and yellow rice. Let me put it in the light so y'all can see it. Shrimp and yellow rice. Mm-hmm. After that, we just gonna take out some black beans. If you don't like garlic, don't put, you know, a lot of garlic or any garlic, but we love garlic in my family. Take the black beans and just put them on top of his rice because that's what he said he wanted. We're going to get some of this black bean juice as well because daddy liked the juice. Good in our steak. All right, Peach. <clears throat> All right, Peach Patch, and this is the completed meal. We got black beans, like garlic black beans, yellow rice with shrimp, and then two pieces of chicken steak. And it's plenty more left, so it's going to start making everybody plate. And then this is Gorgeous's plate. I put her food like this. The other kids aren't ready to eat quite yet. It's early. It's only 6 o'clock. So I'm proud of myself because I am getting on schedule with making sure dinner is done ready and the kids are going to bed early, so... Dinner is done early and the kids are going to bed early. So, yeah. No. Get into it. I be trying to get the right lighting so y'all can really get into this. I want to point out with this new pot that I got. Look, ain't none of my rice stick. It's not burnt or anything, y'all. 
Shout out to the peach that got me this. Thank you so much. All right, Peach Patch. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. You know what to do. Go ahead and hit her like you like. Hey, hit her like you like. Hit her like you like. For your girl. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hit her like you like. For your girl. You like my pictures. Hit her like you like. You like my videos. Hit her like you like. You ain't no hater. Hit her like you like. You getting paper. Hit her like you like. Go like. 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 Let's go. Like. 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 To the floor. One like. Two like. Like oh, nice. hit her like you like soon as you see my videos. You know your girl funny, yeah, you know your girl dope. If you really like me, why wouldn't you hit it, yo? L to the I K E Y B. Hit her like you like and send that love my way. L to the I K E Y B. Hit her like you like and send that love my way. Like, 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 like. Let's go. Like, 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 like. Follow. Like, like, hit her like, like, hit her like you like. Let like, your girl go. Fly with a like, rock with a like, to the left, to the right, go like, 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 Australia better like, 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 US better like, better like, 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 UK hit her like, a like, a like, hit her like, a like, 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 hit her like, 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 for your girl, take it back to the like, 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 from the left to the right, go like, 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 Scotland better like, 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 hit her like, hit her like, go left to the right, go like, 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 I hope y'all like this sound. Yeah, that's right. Hit a like you like for your girl. Thanks for joking.